Okay, I'm going to run a quick uh, repeated measures uh, model in Jump. Um, so I've got my uh, Gearden data here uh, from the Sage publication, and uh, we're going to fit a model. So we're going to drag Y over here, uh, an X, and subject down here. Um, for subject, though, we need to go to attributes and select random effect. Um, the help uh, that Jump provides for doing this is actually really very thorough, um, and uh, they have a, a secondary um, variable in their, in their example, which is species. Um, that is a nested variable, and so you'd have to add that as well. But we don't have nested variables in this case. Um, we don't have any. Um, so another way to think of that is uh, between subjects or within subjects. Um, our x variable here uh, is a between, or sorry, is a within. Make <laughs> sure I get this right. Is a uh, within subjects variable, right? Everybody did the same thing, um, and we don't have any between subject variables in this data set, um, but. A between subject variable is one that you know you can only ever be um, one class of, uh, and so species is an example. Um, the same participant cannot be more than one species. Um, sex or gender is another example of that. Um, uh, working with human participants, so um, those would have to be um, declared as uh, as nested. Um, this is enough though to run the simple model, uh, so we can do that. Um, I'm going to focus on just the fixed effect test, um, so that's down here, and this is roughly equivalent um, to what you would get from uh, the standard repeated measures ANOVA, uh, indicating that um, the X uh, here, the, the treatment, is, a, is highly significant. All right, that's it. Quick, uh, quick tutorial.